gang, Jason here for the love of tractors, or trucks, as it seems to be. <laughs> We're doing a lot of trucks lately, aren't we? But hey, that's cool. Trucks are a part of farming, and trucks are cool. So here is the brand new 3500 Laramie Dodge Ram. I guess they're not called Dodge anymore, are they? I guess it's just Ram, and it has a gooseneck trailer. Now, we've seen the gooseneck before, so... Uh, I'm going to open all this up, but we're not going to get too much into the gooseneck, but we're definitely going to check out this Ram and see what it's all about. All right, so here it is, all out of the box, put together and all that stuff. So you've got my ramps back here and all that sort of thing. Now, the fifth wheel hitch is not attached to the truck, which is a good thing because... I didn't buy this to pull a gooseneck trailer. So, <laughs> um, let's just, okay, let's take a real quick look at this in case you're unfamiliar with the gooseneck. DOT striping, chrome wheels, duels, step, jack. This thing, uh, the gooseneck hitch part, height adjust, it will go up and down like that and that. So, you know, kind of adjust to your truck. These ramps, they do fold out and up. They've got some nice DOT striping as well as your brake lights and all that sort of thing. And you can see the nice piping detail here. Little uh, little uh, deck stepping there. Why is diamond plate? Gosh darn, why was that eluding my mind today? It's Monday, that's why. <laughs> uh, I like the, diamond, or the DOT striping up here on the neck as well. So anyway, sweet little trailer for sure. Um... I don't need it. I tell you what, if anybody's interested in this, I, I don't know, I'd sell it for maybe like, you know, five, six, seven bucks plus shipping, something like that. Uh, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook because uh, I don't need it. Hey, look at that. You can put a quad track on there. Obviously not pulling that with that. That that, that Cummins Ram's got some power, but it doesn't have pull a quad track power. <laughs> so here's the star of the show. This is why I bought the whole set. It's for this Ram with this flatbed. Now, it turns out after I ordered this, guess what? You can buy these without the gooseneck. Of course you can. Why didn't I just wait? Well, anyway. All right. So, Greenlight is killing it with their pickup trucks. Absolutely killing it lately. Um, anyway. <clears throat> nice Ram grill. I mean, you'll, you know it's a Ram from a mile away, right? Look at those headlights. They're an actual lens with some amber in there and, like, little circles. It kind of looked like a projector, uh, a projector uh, housing there. So that's pretty sweet. That's some really nice detail, actually. That's that's kind of impressive uh, for a <laughs> what amounts to a, like a five to seven dollar pickup truck. <laughs> Running boards look good. They're black. They've got like a chrome accent on the end. Those look so good. The complement this color. You got your like satellite radio antenna up here, or I guess just your regular radio antenna. Your lights, which are like a white uh, or silver color. And the mirrors, check that out. Got a nice chrome accent on your mirrors there. And uh, nice, nice looking tires and wheels here. Um, if you'll remember correctly on the Chevy that I did on this, I didn't care for the wheels and tires. I thought they were too small. These look perfect to me. And of course, it's a dually. So that's really great too. On the bottom, we got 2018 Ram 3500 Laramie. And all that good stuff. You know, typical, like, I'll say 164 scale vehicle detail on the bottom. So, not much there. Room for improvement for sure. Probably stick an exhaust out the back end of this thing over here tonight. <laughs> so, um, love the door handle accents. Really good crisp logos. Greenlight is really good on their decals, in my opinion. And, um, you know, so there's the Ram 3500 and the Cummins logo. And then you've got a nice... Uh, I like, like, there's like a black, there's like a black relief around these windows, and it just adds to the look of the truck. It just looks nice. It's a, it's the little details like that that make or break a model, and this has got it. This is, this is great. Uh, side marker, really nice, uh, door latch details, uh, all over the place. Side marker details, to pardon my my Steiger green finger, uh, this will shock you guys, I was painting Steigers today. <laughs> You'll see a video of those soon, I hope. Check it out on the back side, we got a license plate there. Uh, what is that, is that New York? What plate is that, guys? 
I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. It's not Illinois. It's not Missouri. Uh, so I don't know it. <laughs> anyway, uh, reverse light, brake lights, middle markers, and then like this diamond, this diamond plating or whatever you want to call it here on the bed is great. Really great texture to it. Love the the uh, sort of headache rack, if you will, and love the light detail up here. And then if we move around, this side's just it's basically a mirror of the other side. Um, you know, so all in all, um, sweet, sweet truck. The I forgot to mention the ball hitch to pull a uh, ball hitch type trailer that you would get from Green Light. So uh, if I were going to customize this, and I am, <laughs> I would put an exhaust back here and I'd put an antenna on it and I'd call it good. Now, I know some of you real serious truck customizers, you're going to put different wheels and tires on it and probably beef it up a little bit and all that cool stuff. So that's really cool. Uh I guess I did skip over the, we, we do have some interior there. You can see the steering wheel and all that. Uh, but, you know, you can't see in there too well. I mean, I can see the seats and all that, but you just can't see in there too well. So I kind of glossed over that, I suppose. But anyway. All right, guys. There she is. Is that Destroyer Gray? What what color is that? Like, I know it's, on the Challenger, that gray color is called Destroyer, Destroyer Gray. Is that the same thing on the Ram? I don't know. This is maybe glossier than Destroyer Gray. Des Destroyer Gray's got more of a satin look to it, right? I don't know, it's a sweet color, though. I love it. Uh, I've never, I don't know that I've seen a Ram in this color before. I'd order a Ram in this color. It looks sweet. All right, guys. <laughs> That's it. I'm just kind of rambling on a little bit, I guess, at this point. But I'm I'm uh, I'm enamored with this truck. It's fantastic. Uh, green light just continues to kill it. They're, they're incredible. Um, they're putting out super high-quality pieces for cheap. And why not? I mean... So this is this is awesome on a farm model. I mean, it, literally, you could go throw this on any display at the national, and it'll be fine. Like, you're not going to lose points for having this pickup truck on there. It is it is it is display contest worthy. But you could play with this. I mean, all day if you're a kid. You can. I mean, look at how this rolls and everything. Sweet, sweet toy. Just a really cool toy. So I don't remember what the whole set cost me. Like, I want to say 13 bucks, something like that. Maybe 15, and maybe I overpaid. I don't know. Uh, but you know what? I don't care. The, like I said, these trucks are going to be like five to seven dollars, uh, you know, through the dealers and everything. So um, through the toy dealers and all that stuff, I, I fully expect that. You know, toy show season's basically here, a few weeks out from St. Louis. So anyway, all right, there it is, guys. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think about it. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate that. Uh, it just uh, gives me motivation to keep going, and. Uh, That'll do, guys. Have yourselves a wonderful day.